Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody's trying to do this. They're actually watching a video and there's just music playing in the background and the person goes real fast. So I they asked for a little bit of help. Pretty cool effect. So let's take this. This is the text, it's Arial. I'm going to go to bitmaps and convert it to a bitmap so we can trace it. Now when doing that, I'm going to go trace, center line trace, line drawing, and we've already got it. Now it's going to be a little bit rough, but that can be fixed. Take your, let's take our shape tool first and just get rid of that last node. And you could go through and get rid of a lot of the nodes, but I find it just easier to take your take your smoothing tool if you have X7 or above. And every, I would almost think 99% of the people have X7 or above now. Now they're with 2022 or version 22. Now you've got this. I'm going to make an ellipse. The person I'm using their file is still... Got it filled in. We're going to go with, uh, let's go with red this time. And I'm going to take that ellipse. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to get the interactive fill tool. And I'm going to go exactly across it uh, to get an even, almost like a midpoint. But I'm going to go yellow. And that doesn't look too bad. Now, hit the plus key on your keyboard and mirror that. I might be a little bit too big, but we'll see if it works. Grab them both, go to effects and blend, and we're going to blend them 400 times. Then go to new path, put on your new path, and you can see it didn't go all the way because I need to tell it to blend along full path. That's a pretty cool effect. It actually looks like it's turning the corner. And you could still see some lines between them. I don't know how big they're planning on making it, but if you made it pretty small uh, or blended it more than 400, I don't even know how high you could go. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Now, you probably couldn't do a whole alphabet with it. Uh, I'm going to just see if it, you know, the, it's a little bit less of a jump in colors. But you know what? Let's just back up here. If you have no interest doing this, you can just stop watching. We're going to blend this time. I don't know how high you can blend. Or I've forgotten. Let's go 750. Wow. Wow. Blend along full path or blend along new path. Blend along full path. We're not going to have to rotate or anything. Let's see if we can see our line. No. Well... If you zoom way in, let's go one more time. Let's go, uh, I think I've, I think one time I went 9.99. Boy, I took it. Blend along full path. And blend, I mean, blend along path, blend along full path. And you can just, well, printing this, I'm pretty sure that would kind of blend in together. Let's see what happens when it looks real little. Pretty cool effect. Now you wouldn't be able to do a whole alphabet with it, but uh, if you just had a couple of letters. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.